What's going on guys? Today I want to show you where we're at, what we got going on. Got this house here over 120, 30 years old. We're gonna be coming back to wash this eventually, but right now they just want the carport here done. Very old house. Uh, you can see all the wires running to the fans. They're really just worried about, you know, kind of this section here. So we're not gonna be spraying, not gonna be spraying up in that. We'll just spray these bottom rafters here, but it's definitely spring in Tennessee, pollen everywhere, everything's covered. So what I told her is I'd bring all of her furniture out here, spray it off. Normally, if I'm cleaning concrete, you know, normally if I'm cleaning concrete, I'm going to have the surface cleaner. But I believe after looking at some of these spots that are already here, um, even though I just have a four gallon minute machine, surface cleaner may be too much. So right now I'm just going through and taking pictures of potential problems. That way if something happens or is said, they can't say, you know, hey, you, you use too much pressure and peeled the paint. But just look at this place. I mean, we live in a day that's so busy, and I'm sure 120 years ago, they had their own busy life of what they considered busy. But just look at this, this is beautiful. I'm out, the lake, the other part of this job is just across the road and there's a lake over there. It used to be their farmland until TVA dammed it up. But could you imagine, can you, can you think, and this is the stuff I think of, all the kids that would have been out here playing for the last 120 years, playing volleyball, playing in the fields, riding bikes, you know, Easter egg hunting. I mean, it's, uh, it's a fast paced life we live. And, you know, they say it's over pretty quick, but sometimes you just gotta enjoy, just sit and enjoy and look, so. Uh, not trying to get real deep on a pressure washing video, but that's just something I was thinking of, guys. But what I'm gonna do is hit, I'm gonna downstream this, all this wood. If this was just like a regular deck, that's how I would do it. I just downstream it and rinse it all off. And I think what I'm gonna do with this section here is downstream it and uh, probably just use the ball valve to rinse it. If it doesn't make it stripy, you know, sometimes that may make it look stripy, but really with this, I think once I coat it uh, and ball valve it, it'll be fine. I brought the surface cleaner. I had to get a new spray bar. The one that I had is, uh, I mean, the whole thing vibrated and it was brand new and I haven't hit it uh, since I got it. So kind of sucks, but it was still clean and good. It just vibrated. So I got a new spray bar on that, but I told her I'd hit all this furniture they're gonna have an event here, like 4th of July, I believe, which is still a couple months away. And a lot of this probably gonna get covered back up with pollen, but um, I still wanted to knock it for them. She asked me if I could, and I told her I would. But got the truck pulled over here. I don't know, 75 foot hose pulled out. I got about 75 foot of pressure hose. Got the uh, J-Rod on my gun. Like I said, I'm gonna fire it up and just downstream every bit of this. You can see over here, I got a, an outlet that's gotta be taped. None of that's gonna get bleach. I mean, look at that, that's old. None of that's getting any bleach on it. That'll get rinsed off and that is it. Uh, I'm not taking any chances, any chances on that. Some of you guys might, but not me. So, let me uh, fire this bad boy up. Guys, I said when I started this video, you know, you can see these dark spots. It's really just where dirt has stayed. But once we put a little bit of bleach on here and did just a little bit of light rinsing, 
there's the paint's very thin. Okay, let's just say that. And you can see all these places that are fading and peeling. There's no way I'm going to put a surface cleaner on that. See all that chipping? That's like where, you know, just mildew and, and paint failure stayed and all that mildew sticking to it. So what I'm doing here is just a ball valve rinse. I've hit it with bleach a couple of times to try to kill all the organic and it's just getting a ball valve rinse. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this one. I know there wasn't a lot of uh, a lot of video. Anytime, just a few tips for you. Anytime you got like painted wood, get downstream it and just rinse every board. You ain't got to get super close and try to blast the wood off or anything. Like I said, some of this wood, the paint is chipping on this carport, but it definitely looks a ton better. All the areas right here is where it had failed, the paint failed, and uh, but we got it cleaned up, got it looking good. Uh, this blue really looks clean, and uh, have another happy customer. We'll see you next time. You know, guys, one of the great things about being in a business where you go to a lot of different properties you get to see a lot of different things you know i just got through washing my house it's 120 years old been in the family for years but come across the road and look at this and the water is way down I mean, you can see these rocks with all the riffraff. The water's way down still. But just look at that. Is that not a view to see on a day of work? Yes, I'm out here working, but I can take the time to enjoy this. Just the continuance of what I was showing you guys earlier. beautiful is it not and just a brief history is that they told me that before TVA flooded this and made it a lake that all that used to be farmland is that not amazing I mean if you'd have been here 120 years ago and all that's just farmland you know you may have had your corn over here and watermelon over there, and now it's just a, a beautiful lake. I guess it's kind of a catch to me too. Uh, it's beautiful, but it, you know, took their farmland too, but you know, they stayed here, so apparently they did pretty well for themselves. But I uh, just want you guys to see this, how beautiful this is. Yeah, I'm working today, but uh, you gotta take time for this. We'll catch you next time. So yeah. and guys also I wanted to get this before I leave this is where I cleaned the concrete at this used to be an old barn and they moved it years and years ago 50 60 years ago looks like something you'd see up in Cates Cove like how awesome that is they have church service here they have weddings here it's pretty awesome